Okay, so I'm just totally geeking out right now. So um, you guys have to geek out with me. Um, so Catherine here was showing how to go back into flat icons, and I should mute her, um, flat icons, and you do create a background. And uh, she didn't show you like one-tenth of what this can do. This is pretty damn cool. So let's just go in here. Let me show you what I created first. And it um, once I figured out how to work this thing, it took about five minutes. This is a background that I just created inside of Flat Icon. And so now we can go in and let me just clear this page out. And uh, what you do is you come up here to the top left and I'll get my big old pumpkin hat out of the way. And uh, you just, um, well, let me see here. Let me, okay. Let me just go back to flat icon, show you how to get here. And here we go home. Okay, so you come up here and they got the little menu thing. Click on the menu thing, patterns generator. And then we can type in the word gear and click on icons. And let's see here. Come on. Or click on icons, type in the word gear, hit enter. There we go. And now what you can do, this is the cool bit. She showed a, just a tiny hair of this. So let me, uh, so we'll just click on this icon and I put it in twice by accident there. So let's just delete it out. And now let's just move it around. So you can move it anywhere around on the screen. You can also grab a hold of this circle and you can make it bigger and you can rotate it any way you would like. Then you can also come in here and flip flop it left to right. You can change its uh, opacity by doing that. You can, let's click on this again. You can click on this to duplicate it and I will delete that out. Let me see what else. You can send it to the front and the back and you can delete and you can change its color as well by coming into color picker, slide this all the way down and we'll just make that one red. Okay, so that's all pretty cool stuff. So let me just show you real quick what I did. I just popped a couple, oops, I must have hit on one that's paid. Um, I just popped a couple of these in here and then I started saying, okay, well, the problem is they start lining up on top of each other. So as you saw, we can come in here and let's make this one a little bit bigger. And then let's take this one and we'll slide this over here. Well, that one doesn't fit so well. So let's make that a little bit smaller and bring it in. So it makes it look like these gears are all lining up. And then let's uh, grab the next one here. We'll bring this down. And where do we want to put that one? Let's see here. Let's make that one a little smaller as well rotate it a bit. And if you have trouble, um, you can kind of make the size what you want. And then you can go to your keyboard and you can click on the arrows and move them left, right, up and down to get them moving around on the page. And then so let's grab this one here again. And we'll want to put this one right in that place. But again, it might be a little too big. So let's make that a little smaller. And then let's go over here and we'll grab some more and we'll just keep putting them in here and some of them are colored some of them are not so we can come down and we'll just line that one up right there and grab another one and line it up and it's not quite perfect so make it a little smaller rotate it a hair bring it down and so you get to see what I'm doing here and in a matter of seriously five minutes you can create yourself an entire background that looks just like this. So like I said, I was just geeking out and you got to share that with me.